अब स्टूडेंट्स टाइप्स ऑफ एरर्स को हमने स्टडी किया था अनदर कॉन्सेप्ट इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ एरर डिटेक्शन एंड करेक्शन इज द रिटर्नसी स्टूडेंट्स वट वी डू एट द सेंडिंग एंड वेन वी आर ट्राइंग टू एम्प्लॉय एरर करेक्शन और एरर डिटेक्शन टेक्निक वट वी आर डूइंग इज वी आर एक्चुअली एडिंग रिटर्नसी वी आर एडिंग सम रिटर्डेंट बेट्स इन आर डेटा स्टूडेंट्स एट द रिसीविंग एंड द प्रेजेंस ऑफ दीज रिटर्डेंट बेट्स दैट सिग्नल्स टू द रिसीवर्स वेद there is a error that's present in the data or not so students ab aage chal ke dekhenge when we'll start the discussion of our uh, coding schemes or the encoding mechanisms you'll see that the redundant bits or the addition of these redundant bits is a major tool or a, is a major function that we uh, deploy whenever we are employing a particular um, error detection or a correction technique students so next topic is Uh, just a little bit about error detection versus error correction students error detection is simple error correction is complex and the reason i say that is because in the in the process of error detection all that you need to know is whether an error has occurred or not so you need to find a mechanism for error detection that at the receiving end can tell you if the error has occurred or not we are not concerned with how many bits are impacted we are not concerned with which bits are impacted uh, or or what is the location of the error all that we need to know is a yes or a no to the question of whether the error has occurred or not students you will see in the further discussions that this type of an error detection without any mechanism for error correction is normally employed in the cases where the only way for us to fix an error is to employ a retransmission is cases mein um is case mein when the, the only way for us to fix the error is to ask the sender to send the message again what we do is we normally um deploy enough mechanism to just um allow us to do the error detection correction is normally not done so students um in this particular case um we have got a simple or a simpler task at hand as compared to error correction ab students in the case of error correction there are a few factors that the error correction depends on it uh, depends on how robust your transmission medium or your link is it depends on how long your message is so in other words just to summarize error correction um, will need the exact number of bits that are corrupted because we need to fix the bits that are impacted we need to know what are the exact bits that are corrupted students so secondly we need to find out their exact location in the message and what i mean by that is uh, when you look at an 8 bit message jab hum log types of errors ko study kar rahe the i gave you an example of a byte uh, that got corrupted both in the case of um single bit error and also in the case of a burst error in the case of burst error we also saw that our burst was 8 bits or a byte long students if you have to find um, a particular location of an error in these 8 bits or a byte you need to check eight different locations eight different possible locations for the existence of this error students um gaur kijiyega if we are now looking for two errors that was a single bit error if you are looking for two errors in eight bits in that particular case we are looking for 28 different combinations and this goes on students just uh, consider what would it be like if we need to find for example 100 errors in 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 about 1000 bits or 5 errors or 10 errors in about 1000 bits task is humongous the correcting mechanism needs to be very sophisticated and it needs to make sure that the exact location of these bits it 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 is known to the receiver and not only that the correction mechanism in, is in place so that it can go it can find that location it can fix those errors as well 